for our children. Today's topic is subject verb agreement. In the class that you had attended, this was the topic that we had discussed, right? So today we are going to look into this video and if we have not understood anything, we are going to attempt and understand it. The basic rule that you need to follow is that the subject and the verb must agree or match with each other. Okay, this matching should be with the subject in number and person. Like uh, if it is in number, a soldier marches. So that is one soldier. He is a singular subject. Therefore, we have a singular verb, marches. But when we have a plural, like soldiers, then we can say soldiers march. So, if it is more than one soldier, then it is a plural subject. So, we use a plural verb, march. And if it is person, then I am hungry. The verb am agrees with the singular subject I. There's only one person I. So I am hungry. But if we have a sentence, they are hungry, then the verb are agrees with the plural subject they. Okay, so because we have are um, as a verb, that is because we have a plural subject they. So you should always remember children that a singular subject takes a singular verb. When the subject is singular, then the verb must be singular. And when the subject is plural, then the verb must also be plural. Generally, when we are adding our verbs, then if our subject is singular, if the person we are talking about, if, if the thing we are talking about is singular, then in most of the cases, we add an S after the verb word, okay? Like, the teacher is one person, is a singular. So, the teacher reads many books. You cannot say the teacher read many books. That would be wrong. So, we say the teacher reads many books. On the other hand, when the subject is plural, or when the person we are talking about is more than one, then we do not add S to the verb. For example, all teachers read papers. Here, the word teachers is a plural. Okay, so for our verb, we do not use an S. We do not say all teachers grades papers. We just say all teachers read papers. Now look at the sentences that have been given here. If you have a singular subject, then the verb is singular. If you have a plural subject, the verb is also plural. Maya looks at the pictures. Maya, subject, looks, verb. In the second one, Maya and Jaya are plural. They are two people. So the verb is also plural. Look at the pictures. In the same manner, the dog is chasing the cat, but the dogs are chasing the cat. So children, one important thing you need to remember, in fact, two important things are, you should always be able to know whether the subject is one or more than one. And you should also be in the same manner able to recognize a singular or a plural verb. Now, we have got certain rules that we need to understand if we are to um, know and learn our subject verb agreement. Okay? So, two singular subjects connected by or or nor require a singular verb. So, we have two people and they are connected by or or nor. For example, yatin or jatin. Then we need a singular verb because we are talking only of one person even though two people's names are given. So, yatin or chatin is arriving by train today. In the same way, if two single uh, subjects, okay, or two single people are connected by either or or neither nor, 
then also we need a singular verb because again it means only one person neither yatin nor jatin is arriving by train today either yatin or jatin is arriving by train today okay it's because that gives us selectivity we can choose between only one of them the third one when i is one of the two subjects we have two single uh, singular subjects okay two nouns are given and between these two nouns one is an i and both of these are joined by either or or neither nor then we put the i in the second place and we follow it with the singular verb am for example neither she nor i am going to school today all right so please children do not write i are i is that will be wrong you have to write i am sometimes a singular subject is connected to a plural subject one person or one thing is connected to a group of people or things in this case also we will put the plural subject last and use a plural verb example the woman or her children so here we have woman as a as one person children as a group of people as a plural subject okay and these two are separated by an or okay so here again we use the plural children in the second place and we add a plural verb get so the woman or her children get to eat a meal number 5 when a singular subject is connected by either or or neither nor to a plural subject again here we have one person connected to a group of people or things by either or or neither nor very much like number 4 then we put the plural subject last and we use a plural verb again for example neither the chairman nor the directors are present okay um either the man or his friends are coming to the market okay in this manner we will use the plural subject in the second place and we will use a plural verb if we have two or more single people or single things or pronouns also and these two are joined by and then these two single things will form a majority okay so we will require a plural verb for example a car and a bike are the gifts i got for my birthday if it was written a car or a bike then there was only one thing that was coming to you but now you are getting two things a car and a bike so we use are number 7 when the subject is separated from the verb by words like along with as well as besides not and so on then the verbs should always be put in the singular please don't get confused children because in between there are certain words isn't it there are certain words that come in between the subject and the verb like your first example the ship comma with its crew comma was lost so we are always going to look at the first subject here the ship okay and within the commas you have got another uh, phrase with its crew all right so we are not going to look at this we are just going to look at the first verb here if it is separated by commas and if it has got with along with as well as besides not and so on then we will just write the singular verb here the ship was lost the ship comma with its crew comma was lost okay the teacher has come to the assembly hall in between we have along with her students so we are not going to pay much attention to this part because it is within commas so we will just write the teacher comma along with her students comma has come to the assembly hall 
the same way we have the principal comma as well as the chief guest comma is going to speak okay next point the pronouns each everyone everybody anyone um, anybody someone somebody here all these words are given all right so these words are always singular some of you may think uh, that it cannot be singular because we have words like any some e uh, every which is actually symbols for more than one person isn't it but here we have after that each one body which signifies one person okay not more than one it signifies only one person so when we have a sentence like this then we do not get confused by the second part okay whichever is the plural subject in the sentence we do not pay attention to that if we have each of the girls then here each itself will be your pronoun it will be your uh, singular subject we will not take care of the girls here okay we will not look at the girls here so we will just say each sings well each of the girls sings well <coughs> every one of the cakes is gone so we have many cakes someone has come and eaten all of it okay all of them have been eaten but we have everyone in the sentence so if everyone is there so we will not pay attention to the multiple cakes we will just say every one of the cakes is gone number nine when either and neither are subjects then they always take singular verb okay sometimes a sentence may begin with just neither there is not neither nor or either or but just neither or either and we treat them as subjects okay we do not look at them us um, and so on in our sentence we will just look at the neither either which comes without an or or nor and they are subjects and they are singular so the verb also will be singular neither of them is available to speak right now either of us is capable of doing the job right so you need to remember if a neither or either begins a sentence and that sentence does not have an or or a nor then we do not look into the them or us that accompanies them the neither and either are counted as subjects and we use a singular verb uh, last point that we need to discuss is in sentences beginning with there the real subject is placed after the verb okay so generally uh, when we have a sentence then we say an owl is sitting on the tree isn't it that's a very simple sentence an owl is sitting on the tree but when our sentence begins with there then we use the verb first right after there okay and after the verb is where we put our subject so there is an owl sitting on the tree there are many cars in the garage so in this manner if a sentence has got there if a sentence begins with there then we make sure that the verb follows immediately after there and thereafter after there we have the verb then we have the subject you have to be very very careful with a sentence like this all right children so that brings us to the end of our subject verb agreement if you pay attention to the rules then i am sure that you will be able to answer you will be able to work out your questions and uh, work out your english sentences in a proper manner and even when you are speaking then you will be able to speak correctly thank you children and stay safe bye bye